Shauna Sowell, Vice President and Manager of Corporate Environmental Texas Instruments. Shauna Sowell's nomination forum was accompanied by testimonials from 35 Texas Instruments employees, a tribute to the respect and admiration she engenders with her fellow TI employees. Ms. Sowell was a founding member of the first diversity initiative at TI, and she now leads a project to deploy a formal mentoring plan for corporate services team members. Ms. Sowell is currently responsible for TI's worldwide design for environment, safety, and health programs. These initiatives have saved the company millions of dollars and enabled TI to return more than $50 million worth of resources to a sustainable economy through various resource conservation programs, such as non-hazardous solid waste recycling, chemical reduction and reuse, and energy conservation. The program has been recognized with 15 prestigious awards this year alone, including awards from the US, Europe, and Asia. Among her many significant contributions, Ms. Soul has developed a mentoring relationship with a principal at a local elementary school, contributing business strategies to address challenges associated with managing a school. Additionally, through her leadership and nurturing of the Jason Project, the wonders of science and technology have been brought to hundreds of children who would never otherwise have had the exposure and the opportunity to learn. We are proud to induct Shauna Sowell, Vice President and Manager of Corporate Environmental Texas Instruments, to the Whitty Hall of Fame for her outstanding contributions to the advancement of science and technology. Thank you very much. I was very grateful when my peers nom nominated me for this award and very honored when Wendy selected me. And I arrived here because I have been blessed with a great family, great loyal friends, and tremendous partners and team members. And though many of them are not here, I'd like to recognize a few of them. The leadership of Texas Instruments tonight represented by Tom Inchibus and Jack Swindle, who had the wisdom and the courage many years ago to listen to the women and people of color in our company when they said there were problems, and to take our advice and our guidance in helping fix them. In addition, I have been blessed with coworkers who have encouraged and supported and worked together with me to create a great organization and, in fact, egged me on when necessary to greatness. And finally, my three children, Erica, Derek, and Nathan, who have willingly shared me with a very demanding career, have been patient when I've been tired or late for soccer pickup, but have never ever let me forget what was number one and most important in my life. To them, I owe the success that I have tonight, and I thank you. <laughs> 